Hi everyone, Miss Rebella here, and today we're going to talk about converting decimals into fractions. Before we get started, um, why don't you go ahead and set up your notebook. Make sure that you write your title nice and big so when you're referring back to your notes you can find it easily and go ahead and record the information I have below. You may pause your video now and do that. All right, now that we have all this information recorded, we can go ahead and get started. Before we actually talk about the converting decimals into fractions, I wanna review number units real quick. Here you see 0 0.123 hundredths. That's right, I've even have them labeled. Here's my decimal. All the numbers to the left of my decimal are my whole numbers. All the numbers to the right of my decimal are parts. And we have names for those parts, very similar to their whole parts. So one unit to the right of my decimal is tenths, two units to the right is hundredths, and three units to the right is thousandths. And if we kept going on, it would also just keep going on and on and on. But today, we're really going to just focus on three units at most to the right. So let's go ahead and look at some of our examples. The first example I see is 3 tenths. This number goes one unit to the right. And I know that one unit to the right is tenths. This really helps me know how to set up my fraction. So what I'm going to do next is I know that it's in the tenths place. So I'm going to put 10 in my denominator. Now, I need to figure out my numerator. Well, that's pretty easy. The numerator is the digits to the right of the decimal. And I only have one, and that one is three. So three tenths is the same as my decimal here, three tenths. Both these numbers are equal. All right, let's look at the next problem. I see I have 45 hundredths. I go one, two units over to the right of the decimal. And if I refer back to my chart here, two units to the right is hundredths. This helps me get my fraction started. I'm gonna go ahead and put 100 in my denominator. Now, what number goes in my numerator? That's right, all the digits to the right of that decimal. I have two digits, 45, so I'm gonna go ahead and write 45. 45 hundredths is the same as the decimal 45 hundredths. Now, this number here, this fraction, this is not in its simplest form. And when you're converting decimals into fractions, you always want to make sure that you simplify those fractions. So just looking at these numbers, I see one end, the numerator ends in a five, the denominator ends in a zero. So that right there tells me that I can divide both of them by five. So 45 divided by five is nine and 100 divided by five is 20. We cannot break this fraction down. 9 and 20 do not have any common denominators other than 1. And so this right here, 9 twentieths, is the simplified form of 45 hundredths. All right, let's go on to this last problem here. I see I have 156 thousandths. That goes one, two, three units to the right. There's my one, two, three units to the right, thousandths. And so I know that for my fraction, I'm gonna put 1,000 on the bottom. What number do I put in my numerator? That would be all the digits to the right of that decimal. I have three, it's going to be 156. I can tell right now that this fraction is not in its simplest form. Both these digits are even, and so I know that they can at least be divided by two. Now, sometimes with these really big numbers, it is hard to know if there's any bigger common denominators or factors um, that you can be using, but a good place to start is two, since we know they're both even. So I'm gonna say 156 divided by two, and what I do to the numerator, I have to do the, to the denominator, and when I divide both of these by two, I get 78 over 500. 
Again, I'm looking at both my numerator and denominator, and even though they're not the same, they are both even, so again, I know I can divide by two. So 78 divided by two, 500 divided by two, that gives me 39 over 250. Now, when I'm looking at my fraction here, I know that both numbers, numerator and denominator, are not even numbers, so I cannot do the number two. And I know that 39 is a prime number. That means there is nowhere else I can go with this one. So this number right here, 39 over 250th, is the same as 156 thousandths in decimal format. That is the quick and easy way to convert decimals into fractions. Now, before we go, I have one more problem that you may encounter. You may see a decimal set up like this. When that happens, don't worry. We're still going to follow the same format that we did with converting our decimals over here, but this time we'll just have that two out in front. So if you see a problem like this, the best way to tackle it is first, let's deal with this decimal and all the numbers to the right. I see that there are two units to the right, that is tenth hundredth, so 35 over 100, because my numerator is always the digits after the decimal. I know both these numbers can be divided by 5, and when I do that, 35 divided by 5 equals 7, and 100 divided by 5 is 20. 7 twentieths is the simplest form, I know, because 7 is a prime number. So, 2 and 35 hundredths is the same as 2 and 7 twentieths. My whole numbers don't change. They're not affected. We're only working with those parts there. All right. I hope you feel better about converting decimals into fractions. If you have any questions, please let me know.